Massachusetts' 6th Congressional District, voters will be sending a new congressperson to Washington for the first time in almost 20 years. Republican Richard Tessay has run unsuccessfully before. His Democratic opponent, Seth Moulton, is a complete newcomer. So, what do the voters think of having new options? Congratulations. Hey, thanks a lot. I think it's time to have a new choice. No. What we do with the choice is another story. You have a gut sense of uh, who has a better chance in the sixth? I think that this state might have a better chance. That's my view. Moulton will do a good job. I like his background. Once they get embedded in in D.C., mm -hmm. you know, I, I, everyone with the greatest intentions always gets converted by some kind of pressure. For the first it's time, it's almost 20 time. years. Yeah, we, this way we have maybe something to say. Whoever wins to say or Moulton, you think they'll be on a shorter leash with the voters here in the sixth? Well, for now, anyway. <laughs> but, you know, I think the longer they're in, the more they focus on just getting back in. Our OTR political analysts today are Democrat Marianne Marsh and Republican Jenny Buckingham. Ladies, thank you for joining. Let, let's start in the sixth. There's what, five weeks to go before the election? Marianne, first off, how, how's it shaping up in the sixth? It is an open seat. It is an open seat, but it's going to be Seth Moulton's seat. The fact is, taking out Tier Tierney allowed him to raise his profile, put an organization together, raise the money. He has a huge advantage over Tessay, who didn't have the chance to do any of that. He only lost by point the last time. He should have pretty good name recognition. He certainly district. does, and it's a good district for Republicans. We've had Republican congressmen elected there before, so I wouldn't write it off yet. Um, let's switch over to the gubernatorial campaign. Insiders dust up in the Baker campaign. Uh, with only a half dozen weeks left, uh, Charlie Baker boots his media and image guide, Doug McAuliff, and brings in Larry Weitzner of Chris Christie fame back in uh, 2008, I think it was. What does this tell you, Marian? You only do this for two reasons. At this late stage, if you're losing and your ads aren't working. And that has to be the case for Charlie Baker, because you would never do this at this point in the campaign if that weren't the case. Is she right about that? Well, it is a little bit late in the game to make the change, but if you have to make it, you make it, and then there's plenty of time to make up for it. And is five weeks enough to change your image and to change your, your message, basically? Because um, Doug McAuliffe was more than just an ad guy, was he not? So five weeks is plenty of time, first of all, and I don't think he has to change that much. This election is about who can run this state better, who can fix all the problems that we've seen over the last several years, and Charlie Baker has a good, strong track record, and he's going to make that case. You only, again, we've both been in this situation, you only make this move if you absolutely have to. You try to avoid it at all costs. If it's the difference between winning and losing, of course you do it, but you're not playing from a position of strength. What about his uh, problem with the gender gap and his gaps on Hobby Lobby, NFL, and now calling a reporter sweetheart uh, when he was trying to dismiss her? Does that add to his problems here? Well, Jenny? first of all, I worked with Charlie Baker for eight years in the Weld administration. That is not Charlie Baker. He respects women. He was very respectful of me. What he needs to focus on is the sweetheart deals that Martha Coakley has cut with inside lobbyists who get off but, after taking money from a hospital. That's what he should focus on is who he is. Mar Marianne, before you respond, we, we want to play the sweetheart comment within context. This is the this is the way it was presented on the air to Fox reporter Sharman Sacchetti was talking to him. Take a look. When I tried asking one last question about how Democrats believe it could mean the start of negative ads, here's what Baker said to me. Democrats are saying they, they just put it on an email a couple of minutes Okay, ago. it's going to be the last one, it's sweetheart. It's the last one, sweetheart. I'm kidding. He said, I'm, if you didn't hear it at the end, he said, I'm kidding. In context, Mary Ann, what does that look like? It's still a stunning mistake, no question about it. The, the fact is, that comment and the other mistakes are going to be strung together in an ad by Democrats. The Hobby Lobby, his, NFL, his, his, his immediate all, all indecision it, in the NFL. All of it. And that's, that's going to hurt Charlie Baker, and it will erase any of the gains he made, which he had made substantial gains. It's, going, it's really it's a bad mistake. I must have missed it when President Obama called a reporter <coughs> sweetie a few, sweetie. <laughs> a few yes, years was, back, yes, and I yes. missed the outrage back yeah, then. Yeah, no, yeah. this is very transparent as trying to play the, the gender card, and I think it could backfire on Mark Mar 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 Quickly. Go ahead. Go You're ahead. wrong about that. There was outrage. He did apologize. Certainly, Charlie Baker apologized here. Here's the difference. This is going to be put together with Republicans who have not been good on women's issues. Charlie, unfortunately for him, has made a series of mistakes on this matter. He had cut his, um, his gender gap substantially, but this could easily cost him the race. He, doesn't, this, he doesn't need to win women. He just needs to cut the gap. And is, he's going is this to, a, yeah, a, a, a John Silver-like gap, Marianne? What, uh, it, it, it is, and it could cost him the race, and that's, that, that's, that tells you everything. Disagree? 
big overstatement. I, I think this is going to backfire. Mm -hmm. um, Martha Coakley, meanwhile, let's, let's sw switch over to her. She's still trying to make as little news as possible, and she's hoping that once again she'll be able to slide into victory. But she is bringing Michelle Obama and Joe Biden in to catch up with Charlie Baker on fundraising. Latest polls has her up by 10 points. But is she really that far ahead, Jenny? I don't think she is, and she's not going to be able to hide for long. Debates are going to start. Voters are going to be able to compare the candidates head to head, and she's not going to do that well in that context. Is this the right strategy for her to try to hide as much as possible, Jenny? Be, uh, before this mistake, I wouldn't say 10. I think it's closer to 10 now. The fact is, all Martha Coakley has to do is sharpen her message a little bit, raise some money, and, and avoid mistakes. And when you bring in Michelle Obama and, and Joe Biden, what that does is not only raise money, it turns out voters for the, uh, the general election, which Democrats need. Um, Charlie Baker, meanwhile, won a very interesting endorsement uh, this past week from Jack Connors. He's one of the prime agents for Partners Healthcare, which also got a big decision uh, from Martha Coakley earlier this year. She got political pushback for allowing partners to expand. Is she losing on both ends here, Jenny? She kind of is, and you know, no one knows who Jack Connors is, but the insider Democrat fundraisers and others know who he is, and it's a signal. It's a signal. Look, the days of institutional uh, endorsements and institutional players endorsing are over, and I think, yes, can Jack Connors raise her money? Certainly, but the fact is, anyone who was going to uh, Baker was going with him anyways, not because of Jack yes Connors. Yes or no on this. Scott Brown has new ads. Donald Trump, more polls showing him neck and neck with incumbent Gene Shaheen. Question, is the strategy tying her, Gene Shaheen, to the president? It look like it's working, Marianne. What yes or no? No, it's only is his only card. Jenny. It is working, and, and that race is very close. No. And we continue. No? no, we continue on the record. Stay with us.